Let's take a look at the Greater Cleveland Aquarium and five exhibits you should make sure to see. We'll start with the Asia and Indonesia exhibit. I always like seeing Toby the giant gourami. He's featured in more selfie shots than any other fish here. These themed galleries are a more recent addition for the aquarium and they've started adding land animals. There's a green tree python, a frilled lizard, and Solomon Island leaf frogs. You can touch certain animals during the daily show and tell that they do. Hopefully you'll get to see the blue tongued skink stick his tongue out. Up next is the tropical forest. I really like what they've done with this exhibit. You'll see a lot of colorful fish and things you wouldn't want to snorkel with. This turtle is called the Mata Mata, which means kill, kill. Then there's the red-bellied piranhas, which come from the Amazon River, and this silver arowana, which you do not want around your goldfish. You can't miss the poison dart frogs. There are a lot more of them in here than you think, so look carefully. If you have young kids, they'll really like to see the Argentine black and white tegus, the curl-crested arasaris, and the tortoises. I think it's time to show the sharks. The sea tube and shark gallery is what most people think of when they're coming to the aquarium. There's a large viewing area and a 175 foot long tunnel under the water. The animal care team does shark feedings on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays at 3.30 p.m. Unless you want to go scuba diving in the ocean, this is the best way to see sand tiger sharks, nurse sharks, and sandbar sharks this close. The coastal boardwalk is where you can touch and feed the stingrays. There's a public feeding every day at 3 p.m. and the staff will give you a piece of shrimp or something like that that you can reach in and offer to the stingrays as they swirl around their tank. It's a lot of fun, but there's another touch tank that's more tame and would be a great option for young kids. Don't miss the upside down jellyfish, the potbelly seahorses, and the kelp greenlings. The industry and habitat section is a saltwater gallery where you can see fish from Hawaii, Fiji, and Indonesia among others. I thought this venomous lionfish was a stunning sight, and a real surprise for me was seeing these weedy sea dragons. These fish are related to the seahorse, and they're really cool to watch. That's a look at some of the exhibits at the Greater Cleveland Aquarium. Your kids will love it, and I think it's a great stop for a rainy or cold day in Cleveland. Check out the description of this video for a lot more information and links to their website. Thanks for watching, and I hope you'll check out my other videos about things to do in Cleveland.